Welcome to this video presentation, How to Avoid Getting Burned in the Markets, presented by FFR Trading. In this series, we'll equip you with practical trading and investing knowledge while helping you to avoid the many pitfalls and mistakes many traders and investors make. In this week's video, we'll discuss discovering your market personality. But first, let me introduce you to who we are here at FFR Trading and what our role is. FFR Trading is a due diligence firm for various investment and trading services. We've worked with dozens of traders in all markets, including stocks, options, futures, and forex. In a nutshell, we've uncovered the mistakes so many people make when considering trading or investing strategies. Our goal is to find solid investment and trading opportunities that we can pass along to you. We hope that this video can help you avoid some of the same pitfalls many investors fall into and help provide a primer on the markets, though not a comprehensive thesis on the subject. For advanced education on the markets, we'll discuss the unlimited literature available on specific topics. Chapter 8. Do you know what your market personality is? It may sound obvious, but it's incredibly important to match the kind of investing and trading with your personality type. Many people ignore this critical principle and lose thousands of dollars in the process of making emotional and unexpected trades and financial decisions. The key is to find strategies that are a good fit for you and stick with them. Here are some questions to get you thinking before we discuss different kinds of trading and investing. Are you analytical or do you tend to go with your gut? Do you make decisions quickly or prefer more time to digest information? Are you impatient or are you a procrastinator? Do you get easily bored or do you need excitement to stay motivated? In stressful situations, do you tend to be more fearful, confident, angry, or arrogant? Here are some additional things to consider. What season of life are you in? Are you young enough that you can afford to risk more money? Can you earn back money you might lose in the market in other ways? Are you older with a family and need to be a bit more conservative with your resources? Are you cut out for investing or trading? This is a hard question, but nevertheless, you need to ask yourself, there's nothing wrong with answering no here. There are plenty of other ways to make money and plan for your retirement. Which markets catch your attention? Stocks, options, futures, forex, cryptocurrencies? Ask yourself why you gravitate towards these markets. It might be for the wrong reasons. Choosing a market to trade solely based on the belief that you can make a lot of money is simply not smart. Each market instrument has its own unique personality. You need to match your personality to the market you pick. In the next chapter, we'll talk about determining whether you are a trader or an investor. In conclusion, know that there is still money to be made in the markets. Take it slow. Find strategies that match your unique personality. If possible, work with the trading team or at least one other person. They'll be able to see your blind spots when you can't. Above all, don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. At the end of the day, it's only money. Your family, your friends, and your health matter the most. Aim for a balanced life. If you aren't getting some enjoyment out of trading or investing, then chances are you might be in the wrong profession. Thanks for joining us. We hope this video has helped you on your journey to success in the markets. If you would like to obtain your own copy of our book, How to Avoid Getting Burned in the Markets, email us at support at ffrtrading.com.